so this is how to reduce how to reduce the co2 levels in the atmosphere so how to reduce the co2 levels in the atmosphere okay so first let's just do a bit of revision so the three most abundant three most abundant greenhouse gases that contribute to global warming are number one we've got water number two we've got co2 number three we've got methane they're the most abundant greenhouse gases that can contribute to global warming and when we think about how potent how strong a greenhouse gas is we need to consider three things we need to consider the atmospheric lifetime of the gas atmospheric lifetime of the gas we need to consider the concentration of the gas in the atmosphere and we need to consider how much infrared radiation how much infrared radiation is absorbed by the gas so when we think about how potent how strong the gas is in the atmosphere we've got to think about these three things how long it stays in the atmosphere how much of it is in the atmosphere and how much infrared radiation absorbs the gas we're most concerned about is carbon dioxide and that's why we need to look into how to reduce the carbon dioxide levels remember that it is the bonds that absorb the infrared radiation absorb the energy okay let's just have a quick reminder about what the greenhouse gas sorry what the greenhouse effect is the greenhouse effect this is a natural equilibrium a natural equilibrium okay so this is where the earth's surface the earth's surface and the atmospheric gases the gases in the atmosphere the atmospheric gases absorb energy from the sun from the sun they absorb infrared energy from the sun at the same rate um, at the same rate as um, it radiates energy same rate as the gases uh, uh, radiate energy and this maintains therefore maintaining a steady temperature around the earth's surface so the earth's surface and the atmosphere does not uh, get too um, get too cold so greenhouse effect is something that we need it's a natural equilibrium um, and it's the absorbing energy from the sun at the same rate as the molecules the atmosphere uh, radiates energy and we need the greenhouse gases to absorb the energy and it is the bonds in the greenhouse gases uh, that absorb the energy but however we've got too many we're putting too many greenhouse gases into the atmosphere the one we're most concerned about is carbon dioxide because we can actually do something about the carbon dioxide and this is how can we reduce the carbon dioxide levels in the atmosphere okay so very simply there are there are four simple things that we can do to reduce the co2 levels in the atmosphere so the first thing we can do is why don't we use alternative fuels why don't we use alternative fuels fuels are a major source of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere so why don't we use fuels that do not release carbon dioxide for example solar power wind turbines wind turbines that's an i n i n e s um, tidal power uh, nuclear power nuclear power okay another thing we could do to reduce the co2 levels in the atmosphere is why don't we use the co2 rather than release it why don't we use the co2 it could be used in foam packaging for example like when you get a parcel there's all the packaging in there it could be used as a solvent now this is a bit special uh, quite special there's something if you alter the temperature and the pressure of the carbon dioxide you can turn it into a liquid solvent 
and it's called supercritical CO2. Super, all one word, critical CO2. And you can change the properties by changing the temperature and pressure and it can be used as a solvent. And then as a solvent, it could be used for dry cleaning, for example. It could be used to remove the caffeine from coffee. So it could be used to make decaffeinated coffee. Just be careful with your spelling here. Decaffeinated coffee. So it could be used as a solvent. Oh, number three, um, why don't we uh, store as carbonates? Uh, as rocks okay so for example why don't we react the co2 with ca calcium oxide and turn it into calcium carbonate and store it as a rock this is this is not a very good method of reducing the co2 in, in the atmosphere because it's very slow and it uses energy so it's not a very good method the fourth method is called carbon capture and storage called CCS okay why don't we capture the carbon dioxide so capture the carbon dioxide and store in porous rocks in the holes in rocks why we could store it in um, old um, empty uh, oil uh, oil wells so where we collect the oil from and when the um, all the oil has been removed and you've just got a big uh, space there you could pump pump co2 into the old oil wells you could store it you can pump it and on the bottom of the ocean and store it on the seabed because of the pressure of the water on the ocean if it's piped down to the um, the seabed, the carbon dioxide could be stored down there. So these are the things that we could do. Also things that will help uh, monitor the CO2 levels is that we could um, also have international cooperation where the nations are working together in order to monitor CO2 levels. And this is things like, for example, for example, the Kyoto Protocol, which was, which was set up to monitor um, atmospheric pollution.